we're almost finished this website now and I'm going to upload it onto the internet not to be viewed on the internet but to be checked by the W3 schools to make sure that it's valid that I've used my HTML 100% correctly. Um, before I do this I've got to put in a couple more things that are just complementary to the website that give it a little bit more detail. So straight under the title information in the head section I am going to put in a couple more tags and the tags I'm going to put in are the meta name tags which give me the descriptions of the page and the description is just a CV because that's all it is and the meta, meta name keywords and I could put the keywords in which could be Tim Berners um, CV information about me so that if you were searching on Google and you wanted to find this web page you'd put some keywords in and this is where this web page would look for those keywords and put it in so this is a description about the web page and this is the keywords that that web page would use I will save this and because it's in the heading nothing is going to change here so we don't actually need to go view the page because it's not going to change what we can do now though is we can go and look on the internet and I'm just going to type in here page validate page validator so I've searched in Google for page validator and once again when we're working with web pages you'll notice this W3C always comes up they're the ones who are controlling the internet in terms of the way the contents being able to be written I'm going to click on this validating service and it's asking me the address I want to upload my file for them to check to see if the code is alright I need to choose the file the file is going to come from my web design one folder and all I want to do is upload the index.html I'm going to open that and check it and I'm expecting to find an error this document was tentatively checked as XHTML 1.0 strict and it's passed but it's found two warnings what are the two warnings it hasn't found this UTF file I need to put an extra bit of content into my page to pass it if I had any other errors I would have had more errors that would have shown up here and it would list the errors that come down the web page would still display on the internet but it would not be 100 percent XHTML strict that's what we're going to work on now so I am going to go fix this problem what I need to find is where my UTF statement is which tells me the character encoding labeling for the document and I'm going to go and find that now I've realized I've left out one of the meta tags that talks about the document type and the validator picked me up previously saying that it tentatively agreed that my code was 100% correct but I was missing one little line of meta tag code I'm going to put that meta tag code in here so I will paste it straight in and all it is is a meta tag that says the content type is text HTML and it's using the character set UTF-8 that was all it was missing hopefully if I save that minimize that go into the website go back to my page validator service upload the file choose the file to upload and it's the saved index one I can open that check it and it should be correct and it has come up as entirely green saying the document was successfully checked as XHTML 1.0 strict the result was that it was passed that meta tag was my only problem and down the bottom it said congratulations my document is XHTML 1.0 strict it means that I've followed this protocol language and I'm now able to put this icon onto my page the icon is like a quality assurance that says it's been validated by W3C and it is XHTML 1.0 strict and it gives me the code to put on the page 
I can now copy and paste that code on the page and I'm going to do that once I organize where I'm going to put my stuff in the footer.